New York City. It's as American as spitting on an apple pie. But as much as I love New York, I also love not dying of COVID-19, which is why I've temporarily relocated to suburban Pennsylvania. It's weird out here. Even their Jews are Christian. I don't get it. But I'm not the only one decamping to greener pastures. A lot of my fellow cowards have had the same idea. The trend we're seeing in the age of COVID-19, people packing up their things and moving to the country. The suburbs near New York are booming. In July, home sales were up 44% compared to last year, while the number of properties sold in Manhattan dropped by more than half. That's right. New York loses a lot of its appeal when you can no longer do all the things you used to do for fun, like paying $40 for a sandwich or going to the garden to watch the Knicks lose. And what's the point of exposing myself in public if I have to wear a mask? But the suburbs have their own rules and own customs that might be strange to newcomers. So to help my fellow city folk, I want to give some tips for adjusting to life as a suburban refugee. I know in the city, most of your interaction with people is calling them assholes. But here in the suburbs, you have to be nice to everyone. So you're the asshole. For example, when you see your neighbors say, hey, Bob, How's the golf game going? Instead of, hey, Bob, what the f are you looking at? Also, if you see someone laying in the middle of the street passed out, you have to help them. Apparently, just stepping over them like a human pothole is not a normal thing around here. So now that you got that, let's move on to tip number two. The only people out walking in the suburbs are hikers and drug dealers. And you don't want to be mistaken for a hiker. So instead, go buy the biggest SUV you can find. You want a vehicle with the same specs the Army uses in Afghanistan. You never know when a trip to Williams-Sonoma can go sideways. Then once you have your personal tank, drive it everywhere. Drive it to the grocery store the park, the end of the driveway to get your mail, and then buy four more, one for everyone in the family. And if you don't have a family, buy one of those too. You'll need them for all the SUVs. Don't forget to invite Helen to your Tupperware party. I know she talks too much about her sciatica, but she's the de facto leader of the Homeowners Association. And if you piss her off, good luck getting approval for your new mailbox. You got to get in good with the right people. Which brings me to tip number four. Oh, yeah. You better believe they have gangs out here. But instead of the Bloods or Crips, they're called things like the PTA or Book Club. And they're a thousand times more vicious. Last month, Susan didn't finish where the crawdads sing in time. And now she's dead! Forget sports cars. A clean, well-manicured lawn is how people in the suburbs measure their dicks. Did you know you're supposed to mow your yard every week? <laughs> I'd never have moved out here if I knew I had to give Mother Nature a Brazilian. But you gotta do it because the height of your grass is how the neighbors know the kind of person you are. Three inches long, you're a pillar of the community. Four inches, you're dealing with some stuff and you need to get your act together. Five inches, that missing fifth grader is in your basement. So follow these tips and the only problem you'll have with suburban life will be the crushing loneliness. And hey, if you ever miss the city, just do what I do. Spritz the air with a bottle of urine. Mm. Smells like home. Back to you, Trevor.